People have different goals for different occasions. This is good, and we have many daily, monthly, or longer-term ones. Sometimes a goal is just a vague idea. If we didn't have any, we probably wouldn't do anything. For example, getting up in the morning can be a goal. Owning a Lamborghini car, that can be a goal. Raising your children well can be a goal. Goals are good things to have, and we need them. Some goals we just do, we take them for granted. Others we need to write down and find ways to make them happen. Some goals, such as getting a job or career, we need to break down into smaller parts so that we can see where we are heading. There's a formula for goal setting called SMART. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic and Time Guided. The formula helps you not only set goals, but see how you can achieve them. Not all goals need to be broken down like this, only the ones that, well, the ones that don't come naturally, such as those that require more analysis, thought and self-guidance towards the future. That career, for example. Of the SMART formula, we're going to start with the last letter, the T for time-guided. When setting goals, the time in which you want to achieve the goal is critical. You can set goals for any period of time you like, 3 months, 6 months, 12 months or 20 years. The first thing to think about is this, when do I want or need to achieve the goal? Start with this, in 3 months time I will, if relevant to you say in 5 days time I will do such and such, or even tomorrow I will do this. This is why you have several goals, short term, medium term and long term. Next, continuing to go backwards in the SMART acronym, we look at realistic. Is the goal you've set realistic? For example, if your goal is to buy a Lamborghini tomorrow, that's probably not very realistic. If your goal is to apply for a job, well that's more realistic. Achievable. How achievable is your goal? If you have a goal for tomorrow, are you able to do it? If you have one for three months' time, can you achieve that? Measurable. Like measuring the distance between two points on a map, can you measure this? Can you measure whether you've achieved your goal or not? Did you do what you said you would do? How can you say that you did what you set out to do? And specific. After all this, was your goal specific enough or was it too fuzzy? Did you set your goal specifically so that you could achieve it, so that it was realistic, achievable and measurable? If not, you'll need to take another look at it. So in summary, with the SMART methods, goals need to be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time-guided. Employers will ask you where you see yourself in 12 months, 3 years, 5 or even 10 years time. But most people need to start at a point that is closer. Where do you see yourself in two weeks' time? Where do you see yourself in three months' time? Where do you see yourself in a year's time? See if you can answer these questions by setting some SMART goals.